Well, today on the Rusty Glove Box, we're going to look at all the different changes that we've made on the recumbent track. So let's go check it out. Well, something that you'll notice is I removed that back half of the bicycle that I originally had put on the frame. I built my own rear arm set for the rear wheel and uh, that was took a little bit of doing because you had to get it level so your wheel wouldn't be tilted left or right it'd be running center but the thing that is most amazing is that electric rear drive hub I tell you what that thing will get up and fly I can go 27 to 30 miles an hour 30 going downhill 27 on good flat ground but uh, anyway I've got my little uh, department store baskets for uh, for battery boxes and that's just to kind of keep little busy fingers from poking on my wires and stuff like that you might remember on the front I had a different wheel and I was able to find a spoked wheel and I like the looks of that a lot better uh, I used the original tires off the other wheels and so really the only thing different is the rims on the front. I added the little luggage rack. Uh, it wasn't that I was going to haul any luggage but it made a nice place to mount that uh, motor controller and uh, all the wires went really well and uh, everything fit good and it it's really surprisingly a pretty easy install and I would say on a regular bicycle it'd be pretty easy it has a thumb throttle kinda like an ATV might have and to actually energize it you press the little red button it stays on and you can maybe see that it's green yellow and red green is full Yellow is supposed to be around half and red's empty. And it's pretty responsive. You mash that throttle and it'll take off. So I like that pretty well. Cruising the streets around here in the neighborhood, I thought it'd be good that I had a rear view mirror. And uh, I just got one off of Amazon. Went real easy just mounted it like the instructions and uh, fit real well and I can see pretty good my handlebars there they were uh, 13 inch rise uh, stingray handlebars that style and what I had to do is so I could get it as close to this 90 as possible to this gooseneck on the old handlebars I machined that neural piece out and it would slide over the handlebars and then I brazed it right here on the end so that the gooseneck would clamp on it and I did it on the left and right side the handlebars control you've got like two brakes and I've got both my brakes on the rear it also has like a little uh, wire right here that's electric cancel if you hit the brakes it will cancel the motor and, and uh, make it stop driving and uh, so that's a good safety feature I went ahead and kept that on there I figured I needed it maybe you can see I've got these dual squeeze type caliber brakes just the old style uh, brakes I do have a disc that's ordered and I'm gonna try to get it installed I may have to do a little little more changing uh, but uh, I do plan on putting that on there these scrub brakes uh, I tell you when you're going 20 25 miles an hour you need a little more than these so uh, that's one reason why I'm going and uh, looking into that disc brake and I'm gonna get it to fit one way or another I may have to modify my arm a little bit to uh, to receive that mounting it to the rear hub but we'll see how that goes
So anyway, guys, I appreciate y'all coming by the shop and uh, checking out the recumbent trike. We're making some good progress, and uh, so we'll have another video next time we do some more. So as always, I appreciate y'all coming by the shop today. This is Rusty Glove Box, and I'm out.